Once upon a time, before everything went to rack and ruin, the Moon Realm was ruled by a beautiful goddess. But then, Little Bear, for whom the Moon Goddess had shown nothing but love, stole two of his mistress's precious possessions. The Black Moonstone and a magic pair of scissors known as Calibrus. After declaring himself Moon Bear King, he invaded the goddess's castle, smashed the white moonstone to pieces. Once upon a time, I once upon a now. This is my moon cheese, so just get to the part where I sound good. <laughs> right, uh, yes, of course, of course. Wasn't everyone so very wowed when the moon goddess was obliterated? Wasn't it just great that the impressive Moon Bear King uh, gave a piece of the White Moonstone to each of his generals, screwing over the moon at large? Oh, yes, the next three years were something special. Ah, yes. Now, where do I begin? He was the Moon Realm's ruthless new king, and intended to keep it that way. So night after night, he spirited away the souls of children and locked them inside wooden puppets, who were doomed to defend Castle Grizzlestaff. And while tonight was no exception, it would prove to be quite exceptional. Poor oh, dearie. Look, Ying Yang. Another day, another soul. Poor indeed. You're as bad as the tyrant. How many of these children are you planning to parade off to certain mutilation before you realize you're wasting your time? Why, one more? and then another after that. As many as it takes for me to get my hands on Calibrus. <laughs> That's nice. Meet our hapless hero, who's just blitzed back to life, firmly in the Moonbear King's clutches. Kutaro. Kutaro. Your soul was summoned here at my behest. Kutaro, will you be my friend? Pals to the bitter end! Ha 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 ha! Liar! 